The following program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization. Use of any firearm without proper training in safety and firearm usage is extremely dangerous. It is highly recommended that anyone owning or using a firearm attend a certified firearm safety course and practice proper firearm procedures. The views and opinions expressed on the K-Gun Show are those of the individuals and does not reflect the views and opinions of the K-Gun Show, r and Firearms, or Talkwad Studios. <laughs> Straight from Pacquad Studios in beautiful, sunny Tampa, Florida, this is the K-Gun Show. The Second Amendment needs our voice. We bring you the latest information about all firearms while revisiting some of the true classics in the industry. We are NRA certified instructors, and as always, safety and education is our first priority. The K-Gun Show is brought to you by R&R Firearms. It is 8 p.m. on Wednesday, and my name is Catherine K. Guns. Good evening, Catherine. I've been a firearms instructor uh, since 2010, and uh, wow, it started way, way back. Uh, I've been around firearms for about 15 years, and uh, I took a CWP course, and in that four, and a, four hours, I learned more than I did in all the 15 years of handling firearms, and that's kind of where I ended up today. So... How are you doing this evening, JR? I'm doing great. And I've been around firearms since I was about 10 years old when my father, grandfather, and great-grandfather took me out hunting. They taught me the basics of hunting and respectful, respecting the firearms. Um, since then, I've taken several courses, and now I am a certified NRA instructor, just like Catherine. I hold several um, licenses to carries in several states. And, um, you know, we love firearms. And one thing my, uh, my grandfather and father taught me was that, um, you know, gun safety and respect for landowners. And one thing that we respect for landowners is a lot of landowners, you know, a lot of people are not respecting the landowner's property and they're leaving trash around when they go hunting. And, you know, that's a bad thing. And, you know, when you walk into somebody's property, you have the privilege of hunting on the piece of property. You got to respect that piece of property and make sure you clean up after yourself. And even if you, you see a Coke can sitting on the ground and you didn't put it there, and you should pick it up. You know, you always should leave a piece of property in better condition than when you walked into it. And that's just respect to the owners. And as long as you continue to respect the property owners, we'll continue to have hunting rights in this state. That's absolutely awesome. We have a few things that we would like to, uh, to share with you viewers that we are trained. We are professionals. So don't, don't try, try this, this at home. home. <laughs> We have a few safety gun rules, too, that we always want to cover, so we're going to let JR take over on that. Yeah. Just a few to review that are common. The three biggest um, firearm safety rules that everybody should remember is always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction, always keep your fingers off the trigger until ready to shoot, and always keep the gun unloaded until ready to shoot. Yeah. And now we're going to give a few more tips that um, Catherine's going to give us. Yeah, it's actually on NRA's top 10, so they're the additional rules to actually consider and it, it's kind of like almost common sense, but it, 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 it needs to be put out there. Know your target and what's beyond it. Um, just because you can't see what's beyond it doesn't mean that that ammunition, the, the bullet, can actually travel past that. You also should know how to use and handle your gun safely by doing functions checks. Clean your gun regularly and make sure that you know how to use it safely. Be sure that the gun is safe to operate and use the correct ammunition for the gun. Never use alcohol or over-the-counter prescription drugs before or while shooting. <laughs> and, and that's a biggie. We've all seen all the Westerns where everybody goes to the bar, drink up, and then go outside and shoot off their, uh, off, shoot off their six-shooter. And, you know, that's not a very safe uh, situation. So, yeah, alcohol you should never use. My great-grandfather would never go hunting with somebody that's drinking alcohol. That was his big thing. You know, once you get back to the cabin, if you want to have a few drinks, all for it. But never use alcohol during um, 
a gun exercise. Absolutely. And if you shoot straight up in the air, well, what comes up must, must come, come down. down. <laughs> and also, store your guns safely so that they're not accessible to unauthorized people. JR, who is an unauthorized person? Anybody that you don't want touching your firearm. Absolutely. As in your kids, somebody you don't know. I mean, anybody who haven't given permission to touch your firearm is an unauthorized person. Absolutely. Simplified. Anybody but you. That's right. <laughs> and you got to be careful about that because most states have a, um, have a law that if you are in a home that has children, that firearm must be locked up when not in your possession. So, you know, it's very important to keep your firearms locked up and safe from other people that you don't want using your firearm. Absolutely, and it kind of goes back to, I get this question all the time. Um, why keep the gun unloaded until ready to use it? Well, the, the, the best way that I could ever clarify that is, is if it's not in your possession on you, then you should keep it unloaded because if it's at home loaded in a drawer, you're not around it. That doesn't mean that somebody can't access it, maybe sit and wait for you, or maybe one of the kids finds it and gets hurt. Um, that's, that's a big deal. And you, if you are carrying, carrying your firearm, then you are ready to shoot, so therefore you can have it loaded and ready to go. Um, some people fight about that. Well, you know, I'm carrying my gun all around the town. I'm not ready to use it. Well, yes, you are, because it's on you. It's in your possession, so you are ready to use it. So therefore, you can keep it loaded. That's right. Wait, wait, bad guy. Give me a second to load my That's gun. Right. <laughs> So today's product review, we're going to uh, check out MSB Concealment Holsters. And so this is going to be really great. Mike Brandon is in the house. Yes, he is. And we're going to take a short break here in a second, and we'll bring him on. But before we do that, let's. Um, what else do we have in well, today's show? If we actually end up having time, because this is so exciting, he brought a lot, he brought a lot of stuff, and we're going to cover a lot of things about these custom-made holsters. But if we do have time, we're going to cover some uh, things like NRA and uh, ending, uh, going to Indianapolis this past weekend, and the Senate bill, uh, the Senate bill that makes uh, records confidential. Um, so those are some of the things we're going to cover. And then uh, we'll be right back in just a bit, because uh, we are... Uh, Proud to have R and R Firearms as our sponsor. Yes, we and are. this is their commercial. <laughs> R and R Firearms is a retail store located in St. Petersburg, Florida, giving our customers the time and education they need to make buying a firearm a safe and easy transaction. R and R Firearms also provides NRA training courses. Stop by our store in St. Petersburg, Florida at 1411 16th Street North or visit our website at www.rrfirearms.com. That's rrfirearms.com. Mike Brandon. He is uh, the CEO of MSB uh, Concealment Holsters. Correct. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I come from a long background of shooting. I've been shooting pretty much most of my life. Uh, I've recently got into some competition shooting, done a little bit of that. Um, but the conception of MSB Concealment Holsters started uh, a few years ago, actually. Um, I had bought an LC9 and I didn't have a holster that fit me properly. All these other will fit holsters that were out there and all that just didn't feel right. So um, I decided to try to make one myself. Uh, I got a little bit of uh, Kydex material, um, checked out some things online and some things like that, and uh, created a holster. And it took me a few weeks to perfect it, but I finally wound up perfecting it. 
And uh, I actually took a bite of one of the local gun stores but from from my area, uh, which is out in uh, out in the Tampa Brandon area. And um, the uh, the gun the gun shop owner Bob Brooks of uh, Smooth Action Firearms really liked it, and he thought that was a uh, uh, quite a nice little uh, little little thing I'd done. So he said, uh, you know, if you make some more of these, we could probably sell them. So I was like, hey. Sounds like a pretty good idea, you Sounds know. Sounds like a business plan. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so, uh, and this I is the material you're talking about, right? That's part of the material I'm talking about. Correct. Absolutely. This and is it um, comes in several different colors, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Actually, it comes in quite a few different colors. Um, that material there is the Kydex material. That's actually a whole stack of material. Okay. Uh, I have just quite a plethora of material here. Yes, we do. Um, this is the um, this is a uh, carbon carbon fiber type look, sort of a grayish kind of carbon fiber look. Um, I also have. Um, yeah, put it right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I also have um, uh, the digital camo, which actually comes in several different colors. This is uh, the uh, forest green digital camo. This is uh, my multicam, uh, which comes uh, uh, in a couple different colors also. I'll just slide one over. And this, it's very light. I mean, even the full sheet. Yes. It's a very light yes, material. Absolutely. This something is something that you want to wear all day long. Something that you can certainly wear all day long. This is a just sort of a gray. This is a gunmetal gray uh, color that we have. Um, and this is probably awesome. your most this common, is, right? This is my absolute most popular. This is a black. Let's see if we can get it shine on the on the camera just right. This is a black carbon fiber uh, look, and this is uh, my most popular. I do just about most all of my holsters are done in this black carbon fiber. Ah, uh, something uh, for the ladies. Something for the ladies. Absolutely. Uh, some some purple here. Uh, we also have so for, for the, the deadheads. Uh, for the deadheads, we got skulls. That's totally cool. We got skulls. <laughs> we can uh, do anything you want. Uh, another one for the ladies. Another one for the ladies. Bright pink. This also comes in a digital pink. Oh, that's an, cool. Or, or actually in a camo. A camo, a camo pink. Suit. So you can get a camo pink. Like Cabela's pink, camo right. pink. Absolutely, something like this, except in pink. You know, there's also a huge advantage to having a pink holster. Um, you know, where it's sometimes where nobody people, will ever see it. That's right for hunting, mm -hmm. but also in cases of concealment as well. If you think about it, because if somebody says they saw your gun, <laughs> you'd ask them, "Well, can you describe it?" And well, uh, the pink holster is the, uh, probably the, going to be the thing that stands right. out the most. If they can't say anything about that, then if they can't describe the gun. Then they can't right. take the right. gun. <laughs> so this way, you can uh, actually um, I can make one for different. Outfits, you know, if you have a, a blue outfit on today, we can make one for you in blue. If you have a red outfit on, we can make one for you, you in go. red. And Mike, you came out to my shop um, last Friday night mm -hmm. in downtown St. Pete, and this is the material. And you gave me a sample one for my Glock, I which did. I've been carrying all mm -hmm. all week long since Friday. Um, I normally carry my Smith and Wesson 380, but since you give me this holster, I've carried the Glock, and it's a nice fit. You can see that. It's um, films right to the uh, right to the Glock, um, very light, and um, I've tested it several times. You know, practice drawing, and it, the holster stays put. Um, and as everybody knows, here in Florida, the last couple of days it's been hot. You know, yes. summer is here in Florida, and it hasn't sweat on me. It hasn't gotten real hot like your normal leather. Um, definitely gets gets to start bothering you and start sweating. Right. So um, you know, I'm liking this holster, and you know, I'm carrying a 15 round clip in it. Um, it is obviously empty right now because we are in demo stage and just to let everybody know we did check all the guns that we're showing today with all the holsters um, was verified by all three of us that the guns are unloaded so everybody is safe um, we do follow the nra um, safety tips as far as no ammunition in any classroom so um, anytime we have guns on the k gun show there's no live ammunition in the room um, so everybody is protected um, but back to the holsters. Yes. Uh, yes, this is one of my holsters. This is my most popular holster, actually. This is an inside the waistband holster. Yes. Uh, this is actually made for the, the Glock 19. Um, it fits in there nice and snugly. Good retention. That's a great test Won't right there. That out. says a lot. <laughs> right. Um, the, the clip that I use on this is actually about an inch and a quarter, so that right. gives you a really good solid purchase across the top of your belt. Um, and the clip is actually quite quite snug, so it's not going to slip out on you. 
uh, the clip is actually curved up under about six degrees so that when you do draw the holster, draw the weapon from the holster, it catches on the belt right. and pulls it out quite easily. So and you can make it at different angles too um, from red um, to whatever the customer likes. Correct. So changing the canter. Right, yes. Yeah, yeah. You can, if you want to carry it with a, with a cant to it, you can actually tilt the, tilt the uh, weapon forward just a little bit or um, you can have a straight draw such as this. Yep. Which is that? Which is most popular? Is the straight draw. So you yeah, the straight draw. Straight which is what I prefer, actually. Yeah, I think they also recommend using a very good belt when you're carrying holsters, anyways. Because we were discussing that earlier with you that you'd carried it for uh, you know a few days and right. you noticed a little bit of wobble in it, but it and was because, because I had the, a, right. you need a sturdier belt. And now that I know, I'm going to go out and buy a thicker belt and right. um, try it. Yeah, um, but as he has told me, um, he can actually make it with a smaller loop hole, um, loop. So if you're doing are carrying smaller belts. Um, that you can make a smaller hole. That is Custom correct. Custom fit all the way. That's right. Now, a lot of my buddies um, carry this similar holster. They have a lot, a lot of my buddies carry a Glock 19. It's a very popular firearm. Mm -hmm. And so a lot, of, a lot of carry this, and a lot of people have good comments about this. Tell me the difference between this, this particular holster and yours and why they should think about upgrading to your holster. Well, this particular holster, this is a, a, a paddle holster. Yep. It sl slips inside the belt. This is for outside the waistband carry. Correct. These particular type of holsters, I'm not real, I'm not real fond of these because they snap off real easy, especially okay. with these particular ones. These are little plastic rivets that are on here. You get this snagged inside of a car and it pops right off. Right. And all your all your rivets are, are metal, so they're all not of my snap. rivets, all of my fasteners are metal. My rivets are brass, so they're not going to corrode. Mm -hmm. My fasteners here are all black oxidized, so they're not going to rust or corrode. Um, these are held in there firmly. They're not going to snap off on gotcha. you. I've been doing this now for a couple of years and, and I have not replaced one yet. That is Every single awesome. one has lasted up to this point. So. And you have, a, I believe I heard you have a conversion kit to convert that to an outside of the holster. Well, actually that's for my inside, that's for my outside the waistband holster, which is this, which is this one here. This one is for a Smith & Wesson yep. M&P. These guns have all been safety checked. Everything is clear. Um, this is my outside the waistband holster. You wear this here. Gotcha. And, and the way that they're designed, they're molded around so that okay. you get, instead of having something sticking out on you, it's going to be rounded, such as this. So, so it would sit just about right here. Mm -hmm. At the three o'clock is probably about the best position to carry a, a firearm, whether you're right handed or left handed, at three o'clock. Yeah, I like it. It's very low profile. That's an excellent fit. Yep. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> These all have the belt loops that are in back. Uh, this particular one has an adjustable belt loop on it. So if you want to add cant to it, you just merely loosen these screws, drop this up a little bit, and now you've got about a six degree cant. Absolutely. Okay? Nice. But the clips that you were referring to are such as, are like this. You can take that outside the waistband holster remove these belt loops from the back yep. and replace them with this clip. This clip and now it's fastens an inside. on there. Now now it's an, a tuckable inside the waistband holster. Two in one. So nice. you're, you attach the clip here on the bottom. Yep. Okay. One here and then one here. So now you have tuckable, it tuckable inside mm -hmm. the waistband. And it's super sturdy because now you have two clips, two holding, clips it, right. holding it in place. So and it's that not probably makes it very rock. comfortable, too. I'm actually exactly. going to try that out and see. Well, he's got a little well, bit got, on there, but I probably wouldn't right. be able to feel. Oh, my goodness. That's great because a lot of women, um, you know, and, and this is I get this question a lot. Um, uh, women ask me, where do they, uh, do they carry their firearms? And some people I've heard them say suggesting purses, but I never suggest that because if the bad guy gets your purse, then he's got your gun. That's right. So, but a lot of women wear tight clothing. Yes. And I'm actually wearing tight clothing right now, and this is actually extremely comfortable. I want this. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that works out really good, and it's at a great position. Yeah, that is awesome. So then that yeah. belt clip would secure it tight. Yeah. And this clip mm -hmm. will clip in over the top of the pants. Clip underneath the belt, right, and then it has a space in the bottom of it so that you can tuck your shirt in. Oh, oh so you're talking nice. about like tucking it in, just about like that, no, or correct. tuck it actually into the. Car, you right? can actually yeah. tuck the firearm. Oh wow, exactly. isn't that great? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able. Yeah, you know what? You really cannot see the bulk in that. 
And even if I have my firearm, because if I change the canter, the grip rides alongside the rib cage, so you wouldn't be able to see it. Correct. Which is and perfect for that formal event where you're tucking your shirt in and wearing a tie for the guys also. I mean, a yeah. lot of guys don't wear a firearm because, you know, they don't have a, a good way to conceal that firearm when they when they got a suit on. That um, is excellent. This solves that problem. That is correct. Yes. And what? what do you have for those people that 15 rounds in that one clip is not enough? Well, we have <laughs> mag pouches. We have a mag pouch. You we do. have mag pouches that can... Um, also do the same thing. Also hook on the back here, put your belt in here, and they right they're also rounded and molded. Right. So that when you put put it on, you have a, a tight fitting shirt or what have you, it's not gonna be sticking out. It's gonna be pulled in close to the body and uh, be able to mold. And this is the the uh, you could use that for competition shooting. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and as an NRA instructor, I just made a boo-boo. So I am putting a dollar in the jar because I called it a clip instead of a magazine, which <laughs> we all know it's not. That is so correct. there is my dollar for that jar. Um, <laughs> I think we vote, voted to uh, how many times I say awesome in a show. I right. have to put it in there, and I think I did too. So I owe two bucks to that jar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. And at the, end of the, at the end of the 12 weeks, we'll donate that to some one chair, some charity. Um, we'll donate all those dollars to the chair, some charity there at the end of 12 weeks. Hey, yeah. why, why so. don't give it to the NRA? There you go. Absolutely. That's I a good chance. NRA good. needs every dollar we can give them. That's right. Absolutely. That's so important to become an NRA member. And you can do that easily by going either to their website or you can go to any firearms instructor, which can actually get you a discount, That's especially right. going to R&R firearms. That's right. We love to sign up new NRA members. We love giving them a discount. And you know, you'll take care of them. And there's tons of benefits from the NRA. You can get life insurance through the NRA. You can get car insurance through the NRA. Um, there's so many things, so many benefits of joining the NRA besides helping the gun rights. That's exactly right. Cool. I see, I see down here, you've got even. I see some we, green things. Yeah, we've talked yes. about all of these colors, but you have not talked about this one yet. Yes, so this very is very curious. Um, I just started creating the. Uh, the zombie apocalypse is in a, is, has been in effect for quite some time, uh, but I'm just sort of getting on board now. Uh, this is a, I call this one my uh, zombie tight. killer. It's super tight. Yeah. Is, that the, <laughs> is that the newest one you were showing me? That's one of the newest ones that I have. Okay. This particular one fits a Glock, 9, uh, Glock 19. Wow. And it was really, it, being that if it was in the pants, this is not going to fall out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no, no, no way. No, absolutely not. That's not going to fall <laughs> it's out. Really and is that one convertible <laughs> also to the... That one is also convertible to and inside the waistband, correct. That is so cool. It's clear. I like that's that. That's why you can see the fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is just really cool. That's good for something when you carry like at the range or something like that. It's you got know, that. Cool, it's got like, that wow and that cool factor yeah. to it. That's what I like to call it, the cool factor. Yeah. Well, even if you're working in a, in a I, I had a guy that was working at a, um, a gold store, and he used to carry his as well because it was considered private property. He was protecting it. This would really stand out and say, "Don't mess with me." Exactly. <laughs> I guarantee you, Catherine, if you were at the range, people are gonna come up to you and ask you, "Where'd you get that cool holster?" Oh, yeah. This, I've never seen one like this before. This is really, really neat. <laughs> so you got to make yep. sure you have some business cards on it to, so we can get them, Absolutely. get them handed out. And this is my newest one. This is my newest creation. This is, uh, this I call my zombie annihilator. Nice. <laughs> What's the caliber what size on that? I just got to know. That? This, is a, this is a Ruger GP100 357 okay. Magnum. This will uh, certainly nice. eliminate... Any zombies that happen to, to walk in uh, the path of this bullet. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> and it certainly can certainly be able to tell that you have something in there. That's yeah, right. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely cool. Just yeah. The yeah. visual effects alone is going to scare people off. Yes. Well, I, well, it'll also let them know that, hey, look, something bright. Mm -hmm. There's a weapon inside. Right. This Stay actually, back. Yeah, this is valuable for, I don't know if we've already covered that part, but even hunting in the woods, um, the, the brightness. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I have Especially a... Especially if you take the pink, the make pink. out a pink with right. the light. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I, have, I can also get it in safety orange. Safety orange. So that if you are in the woods, uh, like, like say, for instance, for something like this, you'd probably use up in, uh, say, Alaska, you know, get right. a 454 Casul in there or, or something that you're going to be uh, working on, or uh, 460 Smith & Wesson, yeah. something for the bears or whatever. Right. Or if you actually, you know, you're out hunting, you need a backup gun when right. you're out in those woods. And, and well, with the safety orange, not only with your orange vest or your orange cap, but you also have something on there that says, hey, I got a weapon. Right. Mm -hmm. That's really, really, really cool. Yeah. 
All of these, uh, all of these holsters uh, are available on my website. Uh, you can order them through my website at msbconcealment.com. And you're going to owe us a dollar because you called it a weapon. <laughs> I called it a weapon? Yeah. I owe it a dollar? Yes, you owe a dollar because you called okay. it a weapon. I called it's, it a weapon. Yeah. Okay. It's not a weapon. It's a firearm. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is true. It is a firearm. This is correct. Okay, I owe it so a dollar. So we're adding up the money today. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? By the end of the show, we uh, may have quite a big donation. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Wow. Yes. So we're going to actually, if there's any callers out there that would actually like to call in and ask uh, Mike any, any questions, um, the phone number to call in would be 813-440-6570. Also, if you wanted to Skype in, that number is 813-235-0644 so that we can actually see you if you wanted to be a part of the show. Sounds good. Now, Mike, what is the retail cost on your, your standard Glock um, in the holster, in the pants holster? These start at about $49.95, $50 for, okay. an, for an inside of the weight pant holster. And then some of the other materials, the more extravagant materials, the uh, some of the camo patterns, they're a little bit more because they, they cost me more. So. Gotcha. Right, they run a little bit more. These run at about $50. Uh, the mag pouches are about $30. Yep. Uh, the outside the waistband holsters, these run about between $60 and $65. Um, the conversion clips yep. are $15. Yep. All, all very reasonable. I mean, all, all your good, well-known holsters out there are going to cost about the same amount of money, if not more. Um, so you're right in the ballpark um, price-wise to well, be very competitive against your competitors. Well, all my holsters are custom made. Okay. I'm not some fancy schmancy place that manufactures thousands of thousands of holsters every 10 minutes. I do them all one at a time. They're all hand fit. All the edges are are, are sanded down, smoothed down, yep. and they're all buffed because you're going to be having this thing on all day long. Right. You don't need any rough edges. You don't need anything that's going to chafe anything that's going to chap anything or anything that's going to cause any type of irritation. Yep. And there was no irritation. I, like I said, I, I've worn mine since Friday when you um, when you gave it to me. Since I, If I was awake outside the house, I was wearing mine. And never did I get poked or any sharp edges. Right. Um, it was yeah. a very comfortable feel the whole time. Made for movement. Yes, I mean, it was. You really considered it all the way through because I, I've seen other other brands, and, I, and I'm not trying to knock any of the other brands, but some of the holsters, you really get what you pay for. I always say invest in a quality holster because some of the holsters that run anywhere from $9.99 and up, um, they're, they're flimsy and they only make it, I don't know, maybe a week or two before they just get like sweat encrusted. And, 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 Absolutely. And I mean, if you're going to invest in, you know, several hundred dollars or even couple, sometimes thousands of dollars in a firearm, you know, Buy a, a good holster that's going to last you and protect that firearm. You don't want to lose the firearm um, because you bought a cheap holster. Or you don't want to the, be able to use the firearm because you bought a cheap holster. Yeah, you um, can't put a, a price tag on, on life when you think right. about it. You need to be able to access, access it uh, quickly and, and be able to, you know... I love my gun. I, I, yes. I don't want it to I get rusted I love my gun too, and I don't want either. it to, Exactly. <laughs> Well, that's the nice thing about these particular holsters. This is Florida. You will sweat. That's right. All of mine are made with a sweat shield in mm -hmm. the back of it. That keeps the weapon off of your body. Yep. So if there's any any fittings or any uh, any uh, uh, absolutely I mean, Mike. adjustments, you know, or any 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 uh, buttons or anything like that are on the gun, it keeps them away from the body. Keeps them from rusting. Uh, not only that, but if it does get sweaty, you do get a little bit of lint and stuff down inside these, right. which is common, which does happen because you're wearing it all day long. You just take it, take the weapon out, the gun out, the firearm out. Yeah, and, that's uh, two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you take the firearm out, and then you just merely just run it under the run under the sink, right. rinse it out, dry it off. And there you right. go. And you're ready to go again? I mean, I, I, the Smith & Wesson, I normally carry a little 380. It's in a little cloth. And, yeah, sometimes this gets wet, and you can feel the wetness uh, um, in it after a day's mm -hmm. worth of work. And, you know, the last three days, I felt no sweatness on that when I took it out, took the firearm out, and the firearm was dry as could yeah, be. that absorbs the sweat and gets all stinky and smelly oh, and everything, yeah. especially with leather. Leather, after you've worn it for a week or so, and got a lot of sweat inside no of it. <laughs> and let me tell you what, they could probably smell you coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about these. You know, there's no, there's nothing to, no, no odor, no odor at all, nothing yeah. to, uh, to be absorbed with. Well, 
Wow. Yeah, well, well, Mike, thank you very much for coming. Um, anybody that's interested in um, one of Mike's custom holsters, feel free to give us a call at r, &R Firearms at 727-822-7900. Um, we're offering 10% off any of his holsters this week, and we'll continue that sale until next Wednesday for our next show. We're going to take a quick break and um, introduce what we're doing next week. So we'll talk. see you back in a minute. Uh r, r Firearms is a retail store located in St. Petersburg, Florida, giving our customers the time and education they need to make buying a firearm a safe and easy transaction. r, &R Firearms also provides NRA training courses. Stop by our store in St. Petersburg, Florida at 1411 16th Street North or visit our website at www.rrfirearms.com. That's rrfirearms.com. All right. Well, thank you, Mike, for coming on the show with us today. We have a K Gun Show shirt that we'd like to present to you um, for coming on the show. And uh, has the K, K Gun Show logo on there. And will it wear it proud for us? Absolutely. I will. Thank you so very, very much. It's been quite an honor and a pleasure with you, Jeremy. Thank you very and much. With you, Catherine. Thank you oh, so it's very, very much. It's been, been, a, been a pleasure. And Catherine, who do we have next week on our, our the K Gun Show? Next week we have Lance Bolin, who is an NRA counselor, and we're going to be covering gun myths. And he's also former military, so we're looking forward to him being on the show. And he's coming from California to be on on the K Gun Show. So we look forward to seeing everybody next week, eight o'clock Wednesday night. Thank All you very much. We'll see you then. All righty. This program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization, setting the standard for new media broadcasting.